Sage 50 includes a number of reports that help you analyze and manage your business. You can customize these reports and easily group and store frequently used reports for quick access. There are multiple ways to access reports. You can use the Reports menu, the Reports pane in each module, or the Report Center. Let's take a look using the Report Center. This is a centralized location for easy access to reports and financial statements. You can open the Report Center from any module. We'll access it from the Receivables module by clicking on the Report Center icon. When we open the Report Center from the Receivables page, that module is highlighted in the Report Type column and shows all the reports relevant to receivables. The report type generally represents the modules in the program, and as you click through the report types on the left, the list of reports update accordingly. For each report selected, a sample of the report will appear on the right, and below it are examples of questions that might prompt you to use the report. You can modify reports using the Modify This Report link, and we'll talk about this more later. Let's look at the customer list. Select the report and click Create. The toolbar enables us to carry out a number of tasks directly from within the report. Let's take a look. Use the Print button to send the report directly to a printer. Use the Print Preview button to see how a report will look when it's printed. Change Print Settings is used to change the printer and other details. The Export button allows you to export reports to various formats, including XLS, TXT, CSV, HTM, and PDF. The Open in Excel button allows you to view the report in Microsoft Excel. We'll talk about the Modify button in a minute. And the Refresh button updates the report if transactions or records have been modified since you generated the report. To search for specific information in a report, from the Options menu, choose Find in this report. At the bottom left of the report, enter your search criteria and use the corresponding options to fine-tune your search. Let's use the Modify button to change the report's content and how it's displayed. In this case, we want to add ship to addresses to the report. So we'll click Modify, select Report Options, and choose Include Ship to Addresses. Click OK, and the report will automatically update, now displaying both the mailing and ship to addresses. We also want to remove the column titled Street 2, since it's not used. We can go back to the Modify Report window to do this, or we can make the change right here in the report. Just right-click on any column header, and you'll notice that the columns currently displayed on the report are denoted with a check mark. To remove a column, select it, and the report will automatically be refreshed. We can move a column by clicking on it and then dragging it to a new location. We can resize a column by placing our cursor between two column headers and when the multi-directional arrows appear, drag the column to make it wider or narrower. To sort the report, click the arrow in the column header. In this example, we want to see customers with the highest balance owing at the top of the report. We can also filter the information shown on a report. From the Modify button, choose Filter Report. Select the checkbox beside Use Your Filter Specification. Then select the fields and criteria for filtering the report. Let's look at the Modify button one more time. As you can see, there are several types of customizations that can be made to a report. And while we won't look at them all in detail in this topic, we encourage you to explore. If these modifications represent the way you'll normally view the report, you can save the settings as a report template. By doing this, the next time you display the report, it'll reflect your modified version. Click the Modify icon and choose any of the menu options to display the Save Template button. We'll select Report Options and then click Save Template. In the Save Template window, leave Save Template As selected 
and enter a name for your customized report. If you have report groups defined, you can assign your newly customized report to one of those groups. We'll select this option and choose Receivables Reports from the drop-down list. Click Save and then click OK. Notice the new report name appears at the top of the report. Now that the template is saved, you can access it in My Reports, located in the Report Center. Expand Receivables Reports to see your customized report. On the right side of the window, notice the link titled My Reports, and we'll select it now. In the window that appears, you can view customized reports, and you can also create and manage custom report groups. To view reports belonging to a specific customized report group, select a group from the drop-down list, or to choose from a list of all custom reports, leave all reports selected. You can select one report, a few, or use the Select All button to view all reports. You can also manage your report groups using the Setup Report Groups button. On the Groups tab, add a new group by typing its name at the bottom of the list. Now, select the Report Lists tab and your new group will be shown at the top of the window. The pane on the left lists reports that have been customized but not yet associated with a group. Let's choose the report in this pane and click Select to move it into the chosen group. Click OK and notice the new group appears in the list. Click Close and now in the Report Center you'll see your new report group and the report you added to it. And by the way, the My Reports grouping is also available from the Reports menu. Using the report tools shown in this topic, you can easily customize and group reports to meet your business needs. Congratulations! You now know how to generate and modify reports in Sage 50.